All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhak Kodash. Double honor to the apostles, Elder Graham Millstone, and the Salutation Brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. <clears throat> all right, gonna hop right into it. You know, uh, well, firstly, how was then Heavenly Father? Bahasham is in the name. By in Hadasham name. Yahweh Shai's name of the God of Son. And the Raka Kodash means Holy Spirit, literally translated Spirit Holy. Raka Spirit Kodash Holy. And gonna, gonna hop right into it. You know, still hot <laughs> after the lesson, the live stream we did on this topic. You know, I had a few more precepts to the Spirit I want to touch on. And may the Lord bring even more, you know. This is what we do. This is what, we, this is what we're here for. <laughs> the Lord bless, we're called to be that fervent. That zealous nation he's looking for to be that Israel of God. You know, he keep us in this thing to defend his gospel and to stand stiffly for his name, you know. Which again, Yahweh's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah's the Son. But yeah, man, Kanye West, you know, he said a lot, you know, he said something very heavy through the spirit. You know, his ass is right, he better repent. Or he's gonna die with just he's gonna die with these people. He's gonna die to death to another circumcised, unless he truly repent. All right, unless he truly repent and confess how was shy. Because, you know, they saying this is cool because what he said is true. But, hey, uh, this is Romans 10 and 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You know, like the book of James saying. I'm going to get it. James 2 and 19. Thou believest that there is one God, thou do as well. The devils also believe and tremble. All right? So having faith is not enough, man. Verse 18, 17. Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yeah, man may say thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. So we have to show our faith, man. How do we do it? Confession is made into salvation. All right? Ain't no being a part of this world and receiving salvation. All right? We're sanctified through that. Do, hey. This is uh, 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 St. John 15 and 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. All right? So we have to have this word in us. It makes us clean. All right, and then we have to use this word, use this talent to bring forth more fruit. It's increasing talents. And scriptures say the body edifies itself, so we must be edifying the body. Point blank, period. Um, let me keep going. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. In the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are, bur uh, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. So this is how we abide in Yahweh. His words must abide in us. If not... Cast out to the fire. Okay? If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Um, keep going. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in, ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. So we have to obey what's written. The commandments is not, it's not just 10 commandments. 
even the law. It's not just the commandments, you know? Because the scriptures are called precepts, and the word precept means commandments. This whole book is a commandment. This right here that's been spoken is a commandment. What Paul wrote were commandments. All right? These things, that's 1 Corinthians 14th chapter, just to prove that. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. I think I didn't read the whole thing at 10. Let me read the whole thing over. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. All right. So confession brings us to salvation. So now look, Kanye says in this Twitter, this tw now this tweet has been deleted. I click on it, it won't load. They deleted it, but it's still right here, you know. And what's funny is the scriptures say you can do nothing against the truth before it. They want to hide it, so they deleted it. Meanwhile, everybody's talking about it. So it's getting more publicity. Just hey, you would have been smarter just to delete it and let it be gone. But nope. It ain't meant for that, man. The cat is out the bag. I'm a bit sleepy tonight. This is the tweet. But when I wake up, I'm going to DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. The funny thing is, actually, the funny thing is, I actually can't be anti Semitic because black people are actually Jew also. He's made it clear. We are the Israelites, man. Now, he's he's not uh, 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 the one who, you know, this, the one who says it is just this. But the point is, this truth is reaching the mainstream. Because we prove it. We prove it every day of our lives, man. The, the, the Israelites, the prophets. You know, we go into these things. All right. But the fact that he's saying that shows that this word is spreading, man. It's getting out there. And he goes on. You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposed your agenda. So he's clearly speaking on the personal dealings. He's, he's not talking about all Jewish people. He's talking about collectively the ones that's running the shit that he's speaking on, man. Whoever's controlling this blackball shit. Whoever's toying with him. Now, you know, now, just off recent events, he's going through shit. Then even with his Adidas deal, you know, he's fine. he even just recently came out and said Sway was right. He should have just pushed his own shit out himself. That on the deal, you know, so he's pissed off. He's pissed off at the ones who's running shit that he's in the inner circle with and rub elbows with. And at the top of that totem pole are Jewish people. Now, is it some Jews that's just in Chicago regular? Yes, not nigga regular, but regular, you know. They're not running the banks themselves, all right? But they not. They also not living amongst us. There's Edomites in Bronzeville right now. How many of them think are Jewish? <laughs> Probably none, all right? There's a separation. The Jews are the elite of Edom, Amalek, you know? They got their own fucking areas they stay in. Nevertheless, the cat is out the bag, man. The world is seeing the fact that this prominent figure in the world, because to us, you know, he's nothing. Now, if he repents, that would be beautiful, you know. For, for any one Israelite that repents, is beautiful. Not because he, Kanye is beautiful, no. Yahweh Shai said, if one may repent, the angels in heaven rejoice. That'd be beautiful, but the fact is, now people, Jacob have to go look into who, what, we the Jews? We the, what? And guess what? Because the Lord, because the prophets have been doing his work. As the scriptures say, the harvest is ready, the laborers are few. Therefore, pray to the Lord, the harvest for more laborers. All right? The laborers been laboring. So when they go search and look, who are they going to find, man? The prophets. They're going to see, and they're going to see these proofs that can't be uh, gainsaid, man. Cat is out the bag, man. Whoever's meant to hear it is going to hear it. Two thousand people in America, they won't get it. 
Whoever's well, meant to hear it, they will hear it, man. And they ain't got no excuse because even this guy has told, has made it clear to the public. So let's get these precepts, man. These lies are, are getting swept up, and that's the point. The cat is out the bag. Esau was fucking through. All right? They've been, hey, Esau been running things and being crooked they, this whole time. And now it's time to go down. Your time is up, man. This is um, Job 20 and 5. That the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite. <laughs> so like you. That the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. All right. This is it. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found yet and shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Which is Edom going down, man, because who's that wicked? Malachi 1 and 3. And I hated Esau, so the Lord hates, man. All right, he's allowed to hate. He's the one that created hate. Hatred wouldn't exist unless the Lord made it. Okay? And I hated Esau laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Esau was made to be taken down. All right, Proverbs 16, 4. He has a purpose. His purpose is for the evil day. His purpose is just like Pharaoh to be raised up, to be taken down. All right. His heritage is, is for the dragons. And through the spirit, he is and he is a dragon. It's only fitting that his heritage will be turned to a desert for dragons. And, all, and the heritage going to his land. So his actual heritage is bloodline. He's that parabolically. He's that dragon, that old serpent that Revelation 12 talks about. Which Revelation 12 is talking about Rome. So that dragon is talking about the Romans. Who are those Romans? We already know. Who's back in power? Who's that deadly wounds healed? Those same Romans. That's what it means. The deadly wound was healed, which is the next verse. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. So Rome fell, but that deadly wound was healed. That's the beast. All right, America been the whore that rode the beast back. The beast been Rome. And as Rome ruled, Rome didn't just rule by itself. He ruled, ruled with his allies. All right, the Vandals, the Goths, the uh, uh, Ostrogoths, etc. That's who he ruled with. All right. Today, that's Br uh, 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 Britain. All right, Spain. Portugal, they, you know, they, you know, they really won. Okay. France, Germany. All right. And what set up the EU uh, before it was called the EEC was the Treaty of Rome. America being the face of the company, Rome, ruling with its allies, just like then. Same daily wound back, same beast back, daily wound healed, right? Whereas Edom Seth, when I impoverished, when we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the board of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. The board of wickedness. Edom is that wicked one. Point blank, period. And now is this time to be exposed. You know, now is this time to be exposed. And that's what's happening. The Lord is raising up his, his servants, his prophets, to bring out this truth. All right, being gathered by his, his word, which is a sign that this devil is going down. And that's what we do, man. We, we take him down by this word first. Then the Lord will uh, 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 destroy this devil when his word has reached the right amount of uh, people. You know, whatever the, you know, the Lord see fit, then those winds are going to be let loose. There's Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And our Lord been crucified. Of course, he was murdered, you know, during Rome, the Roman Empire. But his image was taken and hidden when? All right. That happened now. 
or, or in this era, I should say, <laughs> not like today now, but in this era, okay? In this era, because to, to be crucified, there's a phrase for I can't think of it. But uh, uh, but a part of crucifixion is to also have your basically to try to wipe away your existence, your image. All right, and they did just that. You know, they they oppose all things that's called God and place themselves as God, put their image up. They made themselves the Jews, the Israelites. What they, even though they say Israelis, which is a totally different word, by definition, look it up. Look up Israeli. Look up Israelite. Two different definitions. And it's intentionally like that. Alright? They made themselves the Jews. They made them painted their image as the angels. Alright? Said that they are the Messiah. They are God. Alright? And that image is spread across the globe. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues. And nations shall see their dead bodies. This dead body is talking about the Israelites, the, the northern and southern kingdom. We start up the two sticks, the two witnesses. It says Israel is my witness. Those two sticks goes with Ezekiel thirty-seven. Those two, the two witnesses shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another. Because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So the heathen see us rising up, speaking his word, this truth. As the scriptures say, the devil only has but a short time. You know, he has a boundary that he cannot pass. The, his joy is coming to an end. And that's what time we in, man. All right. The, the, this word is going out. This is Baruch 4. No. And um, 30. Take good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflict thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserables are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. So Israel will fall, lose our heritage, and be placed in another land because we will be received of other people. That's the captivity of America and all the other places we've been scattered because we're everywhere right now. Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we're scattered amongst all the heathens. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude. Her pride shall be turned into mourning. For a fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure. And she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east. And behold, the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High. Lo, thy sons come whom thou sendest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of the Most High. So it starts with this word. And then hey, we're physically going to be gathered up by Yahweh Shai. All right. And our enemies shall be taken down. But it starts with this truth. Second Thessalonians 2. And um, I'm going to get to the point. Verse 8, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. So firstly, the prophets. What did the Lord tell Jeremiah? Shall be my mouth. Jeremiah 15, 19. Therefore, thus saith the Yahweh, if thou return, then will I bring thee again. And thou shalt stand before me, and if thou take forth the precious from the vow. So that's part of believing in his word. They're going to have to separate what's right and what's wrong. 
according to the scriptures and speak on it, man. Not not conform to this world. Just a just a quick side note, man. On type of off type, like like the the hypocrite, hypocritical Christian church, where the Bible, including the New Testament, clearly speaks against sodomy. But now they allow it. Well, it's modern times. We've got to transform. The scriptures don't say that. They're not the mouth of the Lord. We are. If thou, Lord willing, we elect, man. If thou take forth the precious from the vow, thou shalt be as my mouth. Let them return to thee, but return not thou unto them. All right? So that mouth is talking about who? His prophets, man. That separates the clean from the unclean. And speaking this word is like what, man? This is Jeremiah. Five fourteen. Wherefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh, saith the Yahweh power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. So consumed by his mouth first, through the spirit, this truth coming out. And then it says what? Back in Second Thessalonians two and eight. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So first, this truth coming out. And then the Lord coming in his glory, man. Shall burn his place up like we read in Baruch. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. With all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. So there's a group that's running the world. All right. And that group is the Edomites. All right, the so-called self-proclaimed white people. They are the Edomites. That's Germany. That's uh, uh, Europe. Americans. The uh, uh, Australians that migrated there. Not the original Australians. The original Australians, for one, had melanin. And they're Jaffet. All right. And that includes the, the so-called Jews. Those are Edomites. They're the Amalekites. They're the elite of Edom, actually. All right. They're the elite of Edom. There's a group running this, this, this place all right, who sets the world policies. Who sets what's right and what's wrong. And they deceive the whole damn world. As it says in Revelation 20, man, he should be loose for a season to deceive the nations. He did that. That's why there's a call from Sarah Silverman for people to speak up against the anti-Semitic speech of Kanye. He didn't even say anything fucking bad about nobody yet. He didn't even say an insult. But Trump and anybody else go on the world stage and call niggas thugs, call Mexican Mexicans, these migrants, thugs, and bad guys. They can say whatever they want to say about the entire nation of Russia. Biden can, Biden can scoff. Biden can scoff uh, 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 the Saudis right now because they're mad about the oil. But Kanye can't even say I'm going to expose these Jewish people that's been fucking me over. Not that he's talking about even all Jews, but these Jewish people that's fucking me over, essentially, man. He can't even say that. It lets you know who's in control, man. But as the, the Lord set it up this way. It's that time to go down, though. It's all good. And with all deceivingness and unrighteousness, then they perish. That's why uh, 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 everything promotes the same things. When you look, whether you watch the movie, listen to a song, it all promotes what? The same shit, death. Not just murder, death. Death is a, is a big range. The wages of sin is death. That's why they want to put fucking bacon in everything. That's why shrimp and lobster is highly esteemed. That's why sodomy. Alright? Man on man, woman on woman. Highly esteemed. Alright? 
not disciplining your children, letting, you know, being friends with children. Everything that is contrary to the scriptures is what's promoted in this world. As the scriptures say, that which is highly esteemed in the world is an abomination with the Lord. Everything that they teach and promote is completely contrary to the scriptures. They put the woman above the man, etc. All that shit is deceivableness and wickedness, man. And those who follow it, because they receive out the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, the most high shall send, strong, send, so send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned to believe not the truth. That they all might be damned to believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Alright, so for that to happen, the truth must come out. And the truth is, is, is shining right now. You know? It's shining right now. This is uh, Second Esdras. In fact. John 15. 21. But all these things would they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not, they had, not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. So this truth had to come out. The truth is spreading. Whoever don't get right, you have no excuse. You're going to be condemned. Because the truth was told to you. Yeah, you believe the lie. And you know it's a lie. Everybody complains about the unrighteous dealings of America, the unrighteous dealings of the the uh, uh, the colonizers, as they put it, because don't start it don't start or stop with America. All right, it starts and stops with Edom. From Europe to America, they've done this to the world. Took over Australia, took over America, took over well, South Africa, took over the world resources. All right. And you know that this place is fucking hypocritical. If, if a nation disagreed or did, did things to try to really become self-sufficient, to not have to rely on the dollar or the, the big banks, like Gaddafi that wants to get gold set up, they get knocked off. They'll bomb your country into submission. They're going to take this democracy, blow up schools, hospitals, etc. Bomb weddings, everything. In the name of democracy and humanitarian aid. But motherfucker, you just blew up a whole lot of humans to be a humanitarian. And nothing happens about it. But you people follow after them. You're going to pay for that. You better believe it. Alright? You got no excuse. The second Ezra, chapter 6. And 27. For evil shall be put out. And deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, this shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which has been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Plain and simple. Unrighteousness had its time. Darkness had its time. All right. Now that, that, that light is shining, man. And the city set upon a hill cannot be hid. This light will t is taking down darkness, man. Hey, that's uh. let's get this Ecclesiastes. Two and thirteen. Then I saw that wisdom excelleth folly, as far as light excelleth darkness. Wisdom, which the truth is wisdom. All right, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. All right, righteousness and truth is true wisdom. All right, it surpasses folly. All right, as light excelleth darkness, so the light is taken over. Ah. Dang it. S 
Second Andrew 7, 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time, and the beginning of the immortality for to come, wherein corruption is past. And temperance is at an end, and fidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown up, and truth is sprung up. Righteousness and truth go hand in hand. And that's what's bringing up infidelity, faith, faithlessness, all right, and uh, uh, having no self control. All that wickedness just going after the flesh is going out the fucking window, man. This is Isaiah. Fifty four. Seventeen. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. And that's what we doing, man. All right, the Lord sent us out here to speak to speak the truth to condemn uh, uh, unrighteousness. All right, to condemn unrighteousness, man. Second Edges 16, 49. Like as a whore envieth a right, honest, and virtuous woman, so shall righteousness hate iniquity when she decketh herself and shall accuse her to her face when he cometh that shall defend him that diligently search out every sin upon earth. So the fact that we're standing up against his wickedness shows what time we're in. Hey, our Lord is coming soon, man. All right? The fact that we're accusing this devil, our Lord is coming soon. Back in Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And Esau sharpened his tongue. And he, he said he weighed his tongue like a sword, man. All right? He, he, he turned his tongue into a sword to speak lies to take us down. That, and that's in the book of Psalms. And Daniel 7, 25, say he, he, he uh, 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 changed times and laws, man. He thought to wear out the saints. So he put his image up. He told us his way of life. They call it the, West, the, the Western mindset. That same cup. He pushed on the world, man. The nation drunk of his wine and is mad and are mad. That wine is his philosophies, man. What he says fucking right. Sodomy and, and fucking women worship. Fucking madness. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh. And their righteousness of me, saith the Lord. So this is true righteousness, man. And we're going to speak and condemn wickedness, man, to his face. And then it comes the end. Because our Lord is coming. That's the first step of it. The Lord is a fair judge. Hey, you, hey, you're getting your, uh, uh, your charges read to you. Now here comes your sentencing. You know? I'm going to end it on this. This is Isaiah. Twenty-eight, sixteen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. That's talking about Yahweh Shai. Right? Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet. And the hail shall sweep away. Now hail somebody the missiles. All right. Thermonuclear destruction will happen. America will be hit with ICBM nuclear missiles. And really, it says all that been the boat. So they're going to be hit with all type of missiles, man. And the hail shall sweep whatever nation got missiles that can make it over here. And you better believe a uh, 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 huge majority of them will be released on America. And the, hell, and the hell shall sweep away the refuge of lies and the water shall overflow the hiding place. All right. So this place is going to go down, man. All right. This truth is coming out. This, this, this water is, is, is flowing out. And what's coming next? Hell. The missiles, man. So with that, all praises, honor, glory to 
Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rikakurash, double honor to the apostles, that was great millstone. And Satish Brothers doing this thing is sincere and truth and with charity, Shalom, Wa Baba Ball.